Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you stop by all the days of forever. Um, today's first day of work remote full time. I got set up just now. Just had a department wide meeting on Zoom, and I think today we're gonna show a little bit about what we're gonna be doing and how we're gonna make this work because I'm gonna be bugging Sarah and Eve because they are not used to me being around during the day. I can already tell Eve is like, what are you doing? Alright, so first thing I'm going to tell you is what I'm doing. I decided I'm doing for working from home every day, Monday through Friday. Sarah's here too. Say hello, Sarah. Hey, guys. This is the vlog. Hey, I work from home every day. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I don't, but I'm going to. But I got up, took a shower, did my hair. Do you like his beard? Took my beard. It's I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's still we've we're tried still, this before, but we've never gone this far. And it did grow in more here. It's just here. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure I'll get antsy in like a day or two and cut it off, but we'll see. Anyway, um, I had some meetings. I still have some more meetings to do, but I'm gonna make some tea. I decided I'm like gonna get up and like get dressed for the day to keep me feeling Same. fresh and motivated. I opened the windows a little bit to get some fresh air in nice here. Up. It's nice out for right now, then what happens is in like in Florida is in about an hour we're gonna have to close them because it's gonna get hot. Yeah, and I have to run to our fertility clinic. <clears throat> Excuse me, because- She's got a frog in her throat. I do. Not sick. <laughs> but I need some more medicine before our ultrasound. So they're gonna give us another stockpile of syringes and bottles of oil. Yes. The ultimate hoodoo mm -hmm. hoodoo. Just go in like quick. I wanna go with, but I have meetings all morning. But we don't have enough time. I have another meeting call in like 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, if that happens again, maybe we'll hurry on over. I'm going to do laundry and get my work day situated. We're on the road. Just down the road. We're going to Washington <laughs> State to go hiking. <laughs> wow, that would be something else. We are going to our clinic. It's going to be really hard not to hug any of our BFFs there, but... I'm looking forward to some I'm just meds. getting some meds and... Oh, I missed our turn. Uh, yeah, we're getting we're getting another like thirty day stock of medicine. Oh, I did realize that our uh, our rent is due on our embryos, so we actually might have to pay that. Oh, good. <laughs> and Six. then we'll, we'll say hi to our embryos. Yeah, um, we actually don't see our embryos, but we just even like though they're them. embryos, they already are costing us rent. Uh, we'll pay sixty bones a month to keep our little keep our little squibs in safe. the freezer. Whoa. Guess what? I didn't have this realization until we were talking to them. I know. So here's three more bottles of our progesterone oil, which will give us 30 days plus the two days we have, which means this bag, these three bottles. That's all the progesterone left that I will take because I am going to be off of it at my last appointment, which is in less than a month. It's scary like that. That medicine is keeping me pregnant, helping me be pregnant. Yeah, helping you be pregnant. Like Assisting so, we've we've, we've got pregnancy. family members who have gone through miscarriage, and it's because of progesterone. Yeah. That they needed it, but even then, they continue. They, they at twelve weeks, there's a bug in here. <laughs> at twelve weeks, the baby takes over producing that. Yes. It's like uh, like typically the baby well, isn't even big enough. Well, even earlier, the baby like right, but like the, yeah. it's good certainty that there's the baby's big enough. The baby. <laughs> because of the baby big enough to produce enough of that hormone yeah. without the need of that. So, so we've got two more visits here. Two next one medicine. is next week. Yes. Which is our first ultrasound of this baby, which is going to be amazing. I'll and be then, eight weeks and five days. So the baby will be much bigger than last time. And then three weeks after that, we'll come back and do another ultrasound and like our goodbye visit. Yeah, our graduation. You have to call the OB and make sure yeah. we get in. Wow. All right, we have to go back to work now. How's your day going? I actually had a lot of client calls. You did have a lot of client calls. Um, so I'm just getting the vlog finished. Um, otherwise, all right, I have a headache. How's I'm, your day, chaos? I'm about chaos. I had a bunch of uh, meetings in the morning. Can you get that sarsaparilla? I don't know if I showed this yesterday, but at our local hardware sh shop, I picked up, I've never seen before in person, a cold sarsaparilla. 
Just like they have in, uh, they reference in Carousel, Carousel of Progress. Contrast. So I'm about to crack this open. It's called the granddaddy of all root beers. Uh, work has been crazy. Work's been crazy. I've been running reports from all the cancellations over the weekend, and there's a lot of strategy going on, and we have like a all team meeting that we're going to go on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to keep everybody I'm safe cool. and up to date, um, making sure everyone's safe and feeling healthy and staying remote. This is good. We should do the Christmas trivia tonight. Okay. Um, if you like, if you ever have a chance to get sarsaparilla and you like root beer, do it. It's like a more syrupy. So maybe root I'd beer. like it. You want to try? Sure. My hair in the last couple of vlogs has been crazy. Well, your hair looks great today. I don't like root beer. It's very root beer. This is Sarah's workstation. Here's my workstation for the day. I'm thinking about switching around this table so that I could better utilize it as like an actual desk ah! rather than lounging. Um, sometimes you just need some beautiful fresh air and you take a little family trip to walk the dog. The dog. The dog. The dog gets distracted by smells. Oh no. Oh, it's too wet. There you go, do that. Do that. Oh, smart. She went out the grass. Just my body all pale. <laughs> oh, work is done for the day. Sarah's gone slap happy. And it's only been 12 hours. Um. This show, I don't know how I haven't watched it. It's like my humor, goofy. We've gone crazy through 20 minutes of nonsense. it. Nonsense. I can't even watch it because I keep on pausing it because I'm laughing so hard. Which amazing TV show I never She's laughing so watch. hard. She's got a hide in her sweatshirt. Alrighty, we're having burritos tonight. I think I'm going to have it in a bowl because I can't stand tortillas. So this little concoction is onions, kidney beans in a chili sauce, chickpeas. Diced tomatoes with chilies and Valentina. And that's just been simmering for like ever with chili powder. And then we have some potatoes that are like salty, buffalo y. We have some brown rice. Oh no. What? What's so oh no? The 2020 Barkley Marathons have been canceled. Mm hmm. My boy Gary Robbins was so prepared after. A hiatus for two years. He was gonna finish this year. Well, hopefully he just uses this as motivation to come back next year. If you don't know what Barkley Marathons are, Netflix or YouTube it. Great documentary on both. Yeah. Okay, back to dinner. Mashed up an avocado with salt, garlic, and tahini. And this is a totally Italian salad, but I've just been having a hankering for it. There's also spinach on the other, on the other end. Okay, so it's the perfect time of the year. Think about it. <laughs> it's October 29th. Our baby's just been born. Halloween is just around the corner. Midnight strikes. It's time for Christmas. So, what the heck is this? So, um, what we're about to do is we're gonna play this Christmas movie trivia from our dear friends Marion and Peter. Peter's nervous about it. And we're gonna watch Christmas movies. We have Home Alone too. Eve thinks this is a treat, so she came up to investigate. She was literally just asleep on the ground. Just cards, baby. Something just came out, and I, don't, I know we're not gonna watch it right now, but World Marathon Challenge came out with a, docu a 26 minute documentary from this past year. Oh, we'll put the link down below of this. I'm watching this at some point tonight. World Marathon Challenge. Oh. oh gosh. First movie to begin the holiday festivities. Oh, do you know Iconic what it is? Iconic music. Can you hear? Oh, I just got in their spirit. <laughs> I'm so ready for it to be Christmas time. Plus a babe. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's gonna be unreal. I'm, I, anybody who knows me, I'm literally going to burst into a ball of 
jolly old St. Nicholas's <laughs> snowflakes. Oh, gosh. It's a wait, wait, wait. What are we doing? So you're going to ask me questions until I you get keep, one wrong. And then that's how many like, points I have? Yeah, so you're going to keep the cards that you get, and the one you get wrong we'll put in the discard. Okay? How, when do we stop? Who's the winner? Um, until we're done. Okay, she knows she's going to win, so. Not so sure, because this first one. In which film does an angel prevent James Stewart's character from committing suicide on Christmas Eve? It's a Wonderful Life. There you go, honey. I got one right. We have gotten more wrong than right. I think we're maybe a little too uneducated for this game. I only watch I the same seven <laughs> Christmas movies over and yes. over again. I'm a huge Christmas advocate, but I need to diversify. In 1987, Charlton Heston played a drinker at the Jolly Breathalyzer Inn, which, while spending the last ever Christmas night with whom? The two Ronnies, Jay Leno, or Michael Parkinson? Michael Parkinson. Oh, nope. Jay Leno. What present did Harry Potter receive from Hagrid in his first Christmas at Hogwarts? A. A magical Christmas pudding. B. A flying carpet. C. A rough cut wooden flute. I don't know if I know this. <laughs> a rough cut wooden flute. Because oh. then they use it for fluffing. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Am I going to get it right? What is the name of the creepy neighbor who lives next door to Kevin McAllister in Home Alone? A. Old Man Marley B. Mr. Miser or C. Grumpy Gary A. Old Man Marley Marley and Marley The bodies turn to mummies <laughs> What was the name of the boy in the TV film The Snowman? A. Bob B. James C. Harry A. Bob James. B. Which famous comedian played the Grinch in The Grinch? <laughs> Jim Carrey! No. I was asking for a, little, a different version. I'm just kidding. You got it. <laughs> she believed me. Oh, you know what I have a taste for? Pinwheels on Christmas morning. In the 2004 Disney film, The Polar Express. That's a Disney film? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who provided the voice? over for the young boy who embarked on the magical adventure to Santa's workshop. A. Peter Scolari, B. Steve Martin, or C. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. He was the voice for every male character. What is Father Christmas known as in The Nightmare Before Christmas? <laughs> A. Sandy Claus, B. Santa now Claus, here comes all the C. Good ones. Father Christmas. <laughs> Sandy Claus! In Love Actually, you know this one more than me, which band are Billy Mac's fame main competition for Christmas number one? A, Pink, B, Blue, C, One Direction. Blue. Mm -hmm. Yes! What does Dan Aykroyd hide in his Santa costume in Trading Places? A roast turkey, smoked salmon, a Christmas hummus special. A Christmas hummus special. Nope, smoked salmon. Did you know that Dan Aykroyd made the Chicago flag famous? Why? Because he wore at John Belushi's um, wake, like funeral procession. He wore a Chicago cop leather jacket with the Chicago flag on it. And then everyone after that, like that was highly publicized. Some people started wearing patches of the Chicago flag. Love Chicago. It's my next tattoo. That's what I did my entire senior thesis on, so I know way more about it than your average Joe. Which soft drink is Fuller told to go easy on at Home Alone? Dr. Pepper, Eggnog, White Christmas. Dr. Pepper. White Christmas. I thought it was Pepsi, because they're drinking Pepsi, because you could see the Pepsi can, so then I just went with the next brown pop. White Christmas? <laughs> That's not even a pop! What is it? 
I don't know, but I feel really bad about getting that one wrong. <laughs> Alright, even though we're fairly certain it's Sarah one, I just had a killer round. We're gonna count up some. Sarah one. I have eighteen. I have nine. Hey, that's Nine. That was a good round. <sighs> we didn't want to answer them all in our first try, you know? Yeah. We okay, what enough. now? <laughs> so we just got off what ended up being like, what? Like a two hour? Is it really that long? Hour and a half? It's 11 20. Maybe yeah, an hour and a half? 10. Hour and 15 minute li uh, li live stream on uh, FaceTime with Sarah's mom and sister. Um, so that was fun. It was just nice to chat with them, but it was also like interesting hearing their perspective of like how the virus is affecting the Midwest and Chicago and their different schools and everything. One thing we wanted to point out is like, this is terrible for everybody, but we feel a closer connection to the infertility community. And we feel like we want to want to give some extra love to some of the couples that we've read about that are getting forced by their clinics to that they can't follow through with IVF cycles or transfers or treatments that they've started. It's just such a big like emotional, physical, financial toll to like finally get to the point of like beginning these kinds of different procedures and have to get told like for the safety of you, for the safety of everybody else, like we have to stop now. And sometimes unfortunately like that financially will wipe a, a, a you know people out, couples out to be able to pick back up the pieces. And time sometimes works against you in that. A month isn't just a month sometimes, it could be six months, it could be a year, it could be, they have to do a whole nother bat of tests, but just everybody take care of yourselves. Cordelia, this shot's for you. But for everybody else, do you think she's exhausted? And do you think she's sick of having her two humans around so much? It's St. Patrick's Day Eve. If you want to be happy, be. Leo Tolstoy. All right, the day is over. Yeah, I thought it was a long day, Peter. I thought it was a short day, but every day is just a new day. <laughs> Gotta do better at running because I'm not tired. And it's... You can go and run. Twelve thirty in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we gotta. You gotta run before dinner. Yeah. That should be our new our new schedule. It's the only way I'm gonna Work. burn all my run. energy out because hey. I'm, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna go to bed. I'm gonna lay there and be like. <laughs> oh goodness! It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.